Hello, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the GLP-1 agonists and their safety in terms of breast cancer risk. Before I go on, I wanna invite you to subscribe to our channel. This video was at the suggestion of one of our viewers. We are always putting out new content often because you've asked us a question that seems like we should address it in one of our videos. I also want to invite you to go to yerba.com to get your personalized Yerba report. Your Yerba report takes your medical records, everything that we know about your tumor that you either upload or give us permission to access, creates a report of everything we know about your cancer and the treatments you've had thus far, as well as what you might hear going forward as you go to different doctors. There's also the opportunity to ask us questions through the premium version. So the GLP-1 agonists, what are they? These are drugs that mimic a compound in our body called GLP-1. An agonist is a funny term that means it looks just like that. It's a mimic, it heightens the effect, it somehow looks just like the GLP-1 in our body that our own bodies make. The GLP-1 agonists are an amazing class of drug decreasing all sorts of trouble, diabetes, helping people lose weight, helping people with sleep apnea. This is really a new class of drugs available in the US and many other countries throughout the world that have been a real godsend to people with chronic disease. A lot of people wonder, are they safe or do they increase the risk of breast and other cancers? In all the work that be, that's been done, it appears that there is no increase in cancer, including breast cancer, in people taking the GLP-1 agonists. In very large studies, meta-analyses, case-controlled studies, it looks like these drugs are very safe, not only in terms of not increasing the risk of cancer, but also being safe in people who have cancer, are undergoing treatment for cancer, or who have had cancer in the past. The one thing that we have seen is perhaps an increase in the risk of pancreas or thyroid cancer, but that was a study in which patients voluntarily reported conditions that had arisen after starting these drugs. And those studies are a little different because it's not conducted, the research data aren't collected by investigators, but rather patient report. So more studies are needed, and the medical community is quite aware of that possible increase in risk. We've had a lot of questions from people wondering, can they stay on or can they start on a GLP-1 agonist for diabetes management or for weight loss? And it appears from all the data that these drugs are safe. There's even a reason to think that they might be protective in terms of breast cancer risk and breast cancer risk recurrence. We know that people who lose weight after breast cancer, who manage their diabetes more effectively after breast cancer, have a better outcome. So while these drugs might not directly improve outcome from breast cancer, through better management of diabetes or prevention of diabetes, through better management of obesity, they might actually be associated with improved outcomes. I hope this is helpful. Drop a comment or a question. The bottom line with many of these new drugs is that we don't have a lot of data specifically in people with breast cancer. For example, there are no randomized controlled trials in people all of whom have had breast cancer where some people get the GLP-1s and some don't. But in observational studies, it appears there's no specific cause for concern. I hope this has been helpful. Subscribe, go to yerba.com to get your report. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you next time.